Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding exchange seats and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past 6 months. Ok, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called seat with two different columns, ID and name and these are their data types. ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the name and ID of a student. ID is a continuous increment. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to swap the seat ID of every two consecutive students. If the number of students is odd, the ID of the last student is not swapped. And the result is ordered by ID in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So what it means is we need to swap the IDs of each consecutive student, right? So 1 and 2 are consecutive, then 3 and 4 are consecutive, then 5, right? So it says for Abbott, the student ID should be swapped with Doris, right? So for Abbott, the student ID should become 2 and for Doris, it should become 1. Then for Emerson, it should become 4 and for Green, it should become 3. And since this is the odd number of people and it says that if it, there are odd number of students, the ID of the last student is not swapped. So for G James, it should be 5, right? And that is, should be the answer, right? So to do this, what we can do is we can you know use this table seat table to form two new columns right using the window functions lead and lag so what we can do is we can arrange this uh, table by id in ascending order and then find out what is the next value right so for abbott it would be two for doris three four five and here null right and similarly we can also find for each of these what is the previous value of it right so for Abbott, it would be null. Then for Doris, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So let's go ahead and try to build this. And then based on that, we will be, we will try to come up with logic which can, you know, solve this question. Okay. So from this table called seat, let's keep both the rows. So select star and then make two new columns using lag and lead, right? So lead of the id column so the next value right and since we are uh, using a window function we need to write over and order by id in ascending order and let's alias this as next value and then similarly lag of id over order by id and let's alias this as prev right so what will this give right so let me just copy this just to demonstrate what will happen with this query so it will form a third column called next right and the fourth column called prev right so what will happen so for this right so what is uh, the next value next value from the id column right so two three four five and there is nothing after this so here it would be null right and then what is the previous value right so what is the previous value null then previous value for this is one right so one then two then three then four right so now once we have this what we can do is using this so let's first you know save this in a common table expression with cte as and the entire query in parenthesis so now we have this common table expression right so what we can do is if the student id is odd and we have a next value right so then you return that next value if you are even right so since you are even and it says that id is a continuous increment so obviously the first even value will start at 2 right and of since it will start at 2 and id is auto increment so you are bound to happen like you are bound to have a prev value right so whenever you are having a even number you just return the prev value right and if you are odd and your next value is null which means that there are odd number of students so you just return the id 
so what what were what were the three conditions if you are odd and you have a next value return the next value right if you are even then return the prev value if you are odd and your next value is null then return the same id right so what will this do so for example for id equal to 1 right so you have a next value so we are returning next right so for abbot it is going to be 2 for doris since it is in even id so it is going to be 1 similarly for emerson 4 green 3 for james id is odd and it is null so it is we are returning the id so it is going to be 5 so you see for uh, abbot the id became 2 for doris 1 similarly for emerson and green and for james it re remained the same so that is the logic that we are going to employ here right so from this common table expression what we are doing is we are returning and since we have three different co cases in this case so we use case when statements right so case when right id modular 2 is equal to 1 this means that id is odd number right and next is not null right then what do you do you return the value from the next column when so when your id right when your id modular 2 is equal to 0 which means if you are even then you are bound to have a prep value so then you simply return the prep value right else the third condition is if you are odd and you don't have and you have null value right in the next column so you don't need to explicitly write it you can just write else you just return the id right and since we and uh, since we started a case win statement so we need to end this as well so end as what is the alias of the column in the output id so you alias this as id and then you need to have the second column as student right so student and we need to order this by id in ascending order so order by id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and remove this so that we can run this to see what happens okay so let's run this okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again looks kind of tricky but it is not like all we had to do was you know know the simple logic and how we can identify whether you know uh, what the next value is going to be right for the consecutive student and how to take care of the odd number of students right so once we are able to figure it out then like it's pretty simple algebra right so yeah let me know if you can find or you if you know a better solution or a more efficient solution and until then i will see you guys in the next video